What's going on people, Jason here, and today I'm doing a showcase of a first soft PDF. Interesting name aside, this brand new software is supposed to have a whole lot of features for viewing and editing PDFs, in addition to AI features for summarizing and asking questions about those PDFs. So I guess this is the summer of AI powered PDF software, as this is not my first rodeo in recent times, but I'm interested to take a look at a first soft PDF and try out its take on enhancing my day to day usage of PDFs. Getting into things, a first off PDF carries a feature list that doesn't leave too much to be desired and includes viewing, editing, annotating, converting, creating, and summarizing PDFs in addition to being able to perform OCR. Notable items on that list include the OCR, which allows you to take scanned images and convert it into editable text, and of course the AI features for summarizing PDFs and asking questions about the content within them. Oh, and I should mention, a first off PDF is available on all platforms, Windows, macOS, Android, and iOS, and the license extends across all those platforms, so if you bought the software on your Windows PC, you'd be able to use it on, let's say, your iPhone with your same original license. So I have a first soft PDF installed on my Windows PC, so let's go ahead and get into messing around with some PDFs in the software. The first thing I'll do is open up one of my YouTube video scripts, the camera review of the iPhone 15 Pro, and I'll hold control while spinning the scroll wheel on my mouse to zoom in and out. I can also click this button right here in the view tab to select double page scrolling if I prefer to see two pages at once. This is pretty basic stuff, but it's good to know a first soft PDF has you covered as far as PDF viewing goes. But with this camera review script, if I wanted to make sure I was emphasizing the right things when recording the voiceover for the video, I could use the annotating features to make certain parts stick out. I could select this part of the kind of dramatic intro sentence here, objectively have the best camera system, and highlight it or underline it, whatever format reminds me to give it some more oomph when reading off the script. In addition to being able to make annotations to PDFs, you can add stickers, which I'll demonstrate here. I'll click comment, then sticker, then summer since we don't have too much of that left, and I'll drop a camera right onto the text. Let's say maybe I want to use stickers to remind me to deliver this outro sentence with some more intensity, I can drop a red arrow right here just to give myself a little reminder. Now everything we've done thus far is annotating, it's not necessarily changing the actual contents of the PDF, but instead adding things on top of that, similar to dropping a sticky note on an actual physical document as opposed to using whiteout and actually writing something in. But now let's go ahead and jump into editing features. You can see the script isn't too complicated as far as structure goes, but I can use simple drag and drop and drop down controls to move text boxes around and change their font, color, size, and position. This type of functionality is probably reminding you of a word processor like Microsoft Word, and the best PDF editors are the ones that more or less mimic that functionality, but for PDFs. Speaking of Microsoft Word, another feature a first soft PDF has is the ability to convert PDFs into file formats friendlier to other softwares like MS Word. So all we'd have to do to make something like that happen is hover over this PDF to Word icon here on the home page. Alternatively, you could click convert, but hovering here will bring up options to convert the current file to a Word doc, an Excel spreadsheet, a PowerPoint presentation, or a plain old image. I'm gonna click Word, then convert in this window that pops up, and after a few seconds, a first soft PDF will open the Explorer with the converted file selected. Pretty cool. The file we got here now is one I can open and edit in a software I'm more familiar with, and remember, there's plenty of options for converting to other file formats as well. Now, another feature that's almost jumping back to PDF editing is PDF organization. You get to that by clicking the page tab here, and that brings you to a layout of all the pages within the PDF you're working on, where you can move things around, rotate, or extract individual pages within your PDF. You can even crop pages if you find that some of them have too big of a margin and you want a rough change to the borders around the content. So I've been saving the best for last as far as features go, so let's talk about OCR and AI capabilities of a first soft PDF. Apparently it's the acronyms that are the coolest features here. But anyway, first testing out the OCR, I scanned a text document that includes text but in image format as opposed to editable text. The OCR feature in the software will be able to convert from the images into editable text for us, and we carry that out by clicking OCR, then perform OCR. It'll go ahead and run its algorithms and process the file, and spit out a finished PDF that includes text boxes with the best estimate the software has for us. OCR is a pretty handy feature, and a first soft PDF does pretty well carrying this out. And finally, the two most popular letters of 2024, and honestly 2023 if we're being honest, AI. AI manifests in a first soft PDF as a summary generator and chatbot, being able to understand the contents of a PDF and provide summaries or explanations with just a few keystrokes. 
So if we were to jump to this study on protein intake, just clicking a first off AI and upload would quickly give us the gist of the study. But also, seeing as the AI capabilities are packaged up into a chatbot style interface, we can ask questions about the PDF, ranging from basic stuff like asking to clearly explain the results of protein on muscle building after resistance training. That's really just asking for the results of the study, and the answer we get isn't just fast and accurate, but also very thorough, as you can see here. And we can also get into more technical stuff and ask about leucine oxidation to get an equally quick and correct response to that. So overall, the first soft PDF is a pretty impressive piece of software. It packages up core features of manipulating PDFs, in addition to having advanced features like OCR and AI capabilities, all in a clean and simple interface at an affordable price. Actually, the price starts at non-existent if you use the link down below, where you can get started with a first soft PDF for 100% free. And if you do decide to pick up a license that again extends across all platforms, I also have a 30% off link that you can grab down below that hopefully y'all will be able to benefit from. And don't get me started on comparing a first off PDF to the big names like Adobe Acrobat, where there's a clear pricing and actually feature differential in favor of a first off, where Adobe Acrobat doesn't offer OCR functionality in its base version, but a first off does in every version of it. So really, the first off PDF offered an interesting angle to working with PDFs, and I'm very glad I was able to try it out. Thanks for watching, subscribe for more quality tech videos, and I'll see you later.